Utah, one of my favorite places on earth, is getting a new state flag. So of course I took this opportunity to fly out there to break down the new beehive flag for you and witness this piece of flag history. If you've been following flags for good for a little bit, you probably know about my Better State Flags series, where I redesign all of the bad US state flags. In fact, I did an entire TEDx talk about this topic at Utah State University back in like 2021. And it was there that I released my Better State Flag of Utah, which looks like this. In fact, why don't you just watch the last 15 seconds real quick. I'm not saying that this needs to be the final flag of Utah. I'm not. But I am saying... <laughs> but I do hope that by making these better state flags and putting them out into the world, it sparks conversation from the public and politicians alike to come together and want something more, want something better. Thanks. So that was almost two years ago. And coincidentally, right around the same time as that talk, Utah announced an official flag redesign commission where they had a contest. So I immediately submitted my flag design and then I patiently waited like everybody else. Well, I take that back. I didn't wait patiently like everybody else because I found out how cheap digital billboards were and I just went ahead and bought a bunch of billboards advertising my design and put them all around Salt Lake City. They look like this. So then I made a TikTok about the billboards, which ended up getting more views than the billboards themselves probably. But all of this was kind of just a joke. They were cheap and I thought it was funny. And then I opened Twitter and I see that State Senator Dan McKay, who is leading the flag design commission for the state of Utah, tweet me and say, did I just see a billboard with your flag design? For the less than $100 I spent on digital billboards, worth every penny. Anyway, the five finalists were released at some point, and mine wasn't one of them. You can see that four out of the five of them had a beehive on it, and we'll explain why a little bit later. And I kind of knew all along that since mine didn't have a beehive, I didn't really stand a chance, but I was still a little bit bummed. That is until I saw the final flag design when it was announced, and I was very surprised. As you can see, the new Utah flag definitely takes some design notes from my submission, which I'm honored. And to do a full design breakdown like you're used to seeing in these videos, I want to go somewhere with a little bit more white space. Is this far enough? Hope so. All right, let's finally break down the design of this new Utah flag. The base of the flag is red, and that represents the iconic red rocks and canyons of Southern Utah and perseverance. Out of that comes five white peaks, and that represents the iconic snowy mountains that are surrounding me right now. And both my design and the new flag of Utah both agree that the five white peaks should represent the five indigenous tribes of Utah that hold this land sacred. And above that is a blue sky, which the final legislation says represents faith, which is obviously very important in Utah's history. Now where my design and the new Utah flag really start to differ is this hexagon in the middle. You see, Utah is the beehive state and I chose to represent that with one golden honeycomb right there in the middle. They've taken that hexagon, but they've added a lot to it, and they're adding a lot more meaning to it as well. They say that the hexagon represents the strength of the people of Utah, and inside of it is this beehive that we keep seeing, keeps coming up. And to finally explain what the beehive means, I should probably head back into town. No, I'm just gonna take you. Let's go. Well, it's gonna take me a second to get to you. Hold on. All right, you ready? The beehive is Utah's famous symbol. It shows up everywhere from their highway signs to their flag, obviously, to these giant statues in front of the Capitol. Now, does Utah have more bees than anywhere else in the United States? No, not at all. It's a symbol used by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as the Mormons. 
Joseph Smith and other early Mormon leaders probably took this symbol from the Freemasons, and they use it to represent the industriousness of the Mormon people. So in the final flag legislation, it says that the beehive represents industry, community, and the year 1847, which is when pioneers first settled Utah. The final piece of the flag is this five-pointed star that appears below the beehive. That represents the year 1896 when Utah finally became a U.S. state. Now, if you look at earlier revisions of the flag, you'll notice that that star had eight points. The five-pointed star was a last-minute addition. And who better to talk to about all of these changes and this process of making a new state flag than State Senator Dan McKay. He's led the initiative up into this point, and he's invited me here today to chat with him. And I get to go to a really special event that I'm super excited about. Oh, of course it doesn't open. How might one enter the Capitol? I have a meeting. Hey, nice How to meet you, you Senator yeah. McKay. Good to see you. Come on yeah, in. Thanks, thanks for uh, coming to Utah. Yeah, thanks for having me. When I got the invite to come to Utah and be a part of this event, one of the first things I really wanted to do was sit down with Senator McKay. And he was gracious enough to invite me to his office. And we just sat and talked for like 30 minutes. But here's the highlights of what we talked about. Senator Dan McKay. Yeah. It is so good to finally meet you in person. Good to sit down. We've, yeah. we've had some you know, passive Twitter things here and there. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it is good to meet you. First of all, congratulations on the flag getting this far. Okay. I know the, it's not done yet. Yeah, yeah. If you, I think, and I, I make this joke, but I, I'm half serious about it. If you'd have told me three years ago that it was going to take as much time as it has, <laughs> I, I would smack myself and like hope to talk my, some sense into myself. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to write down some of these lessons of like things to not repeat, <laughs> okay? In the very beginning, I started off in this presentation by talking about how our flag was lame. And then we tried to capture, well, sorry, not that it was lame. That's not the right way to say it. Just that our flag was this seal on a blue background and it really wasn't being used. The people weren't owning this flag. Sure. It's a symbol of government, okay? And that's, that's backed by evidence. Evidence. That's not just an opinion. No. Right. Poll, polls show only 11% of Utahns own the flag. Mm. And only, I, I can't remember, it's like 8% of the population ever flies it. Like, ever. When given the option of something better, most of the public will jump right on board. Because and, they're proud of Utah. And if they had a symbol that reflected the amount of pride they already have, and they were proud to put a sticker on the back of their car or on their yeah. suitcase or whatever, or get a tattoo even, that's yeah. what I always say is the best yeah. test of a flag, yeah. is if people are getting it tattooed on them, that's a good flag. What's funny is I told my colleagues I would get one if this thing passed. Oh, please let me know when that's happening, and I want to come film that and okay. do a follow-up to this. <laughs> yeah, my wife is not as excited about that promise, but that's a whole nother. Where would you get it? Uh, I haven't given a lot of thought to that part of it yet. Just, uh, you know, I will emotionally get myself in that, in that position. But um, <laughs> I believe that when we talk next year or the year after, that Utah, it, it's going to change Utah. I, mm. I, really, I really do believe that this is going to be a thing that changes Utah. It's beautiful to see legislatures come together and work together because if you look at you know the series that I did, the Better State Flag series, I say I have no faith in the government to do what you're doing. Yeah, you know I've seen it fail so many times, and I've yeah. seen these designed by committee things become very ugly, yeah, physically and in the press. And so my approach to the thing is to be just guerrilla about it. Mm. I just made it, I printed it, I sold it. Yeah. I put up billboards around Salt Lake City yeah. that you saw. Yeah. <laughs> so like I just come with this guerrilla approach because I have so little faith that this can happen and you are giving me the faith that this can happen at the state level, which yeah. is huge. I've seen cities fail at this so many times. Yeah. And so to see an actual state, and a state which I love, and I would love to live here at some point in my yeah. life, 
to see that come through has been truly inspiring and uh, I wish you the best of luck and uh, I'm excited about the event tomorrow and yeah. uh, thanks so much for meeting with me. You're welcome. The next day was the event that I had come for. It was a press conference where all of the 70 plus designers that had influenced the final flag design got to come to the Capitol and be recognized. We all got miniature versions of our flag designs and got to mingle with each other, which was a lot of fun. And one by one, they called us up to give us a letter from the Lieutenant Governor, as well as an $100 gift card. Michael Green from Indianapolis. There was a time when I thought that this was a ridiculous idea, a bad decision, and you know, in fact, one time in committee I voted against it. It was so much fun getting to meet all of the other designers. I took pictures with fans, which I did not expect, and I even got a beehive flag lapel pin, which was pretty cool. But now, the beehive flag is official. As I'm recording this, it's passed both the House and the Senate, and by the time you're watching, it's probably already been signed by Governor Cox into law. And of course, if you want a new beehive flag for yourself, we have them available on flagsforgood.com. We have flags, we have stickers, we have everything you need to represent the new beehive flag and your Utah pride. When I started Flags for Good, I would have never guessed that something like this would happen, but at my core, I am a flag nerd and this has become the greatest job on earth. I'm Michael from Flags for Good. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like, consider subscribing, and most importantly, thank you so much for watching. This, these are not the right shoes. There's literally an elk. There's an elk. Should I be scared? Uh. Man, it's pretty out here. But it stinks. It smells really bad. There's a seagull. Why? We're not even close to the ocean. I thought seagulls were only at the ocean. There's a seagull at the Great Salt Lake. I'm learning so much. Why do I always do these in the winter time? What is that smell?